right? I have the Raspberry Pi Zero that just came out, and uh, the problem is that it doesn't have a sound card. It does output sound through the HDMI, but if you need to plug in headsets or whatever, and you don't have a HDMI monitor, or you have an HDMI monitor that doesn't have sound, or for whatever reason, you, and you got a, you can buy a uh, dongle, a audio dongle here. Okay, like I got this one at Pi Hut. Uh, I got it on Amazon. You can also get it through Adafruit. So this is a sound card with no name on it. You can get different sound cards also. I got like this one also with no name from Amazon. Alright, so everything's already plugged in. I got power. I got a OTG cable and a hub with a Wi-Fi adapter here. This is the uh, EDI, Ma EDI Max uh, 7011 and sound card and headset plugged in. All right. So I'm going to run the command to play audio. And, um, all right, so that's the command. Uh, I'm running MPG 123, but you can use whatever you want a play or whatever but uh, now as I play that you'll, you'll notice that there's no sound no sound and if you type in uh, what's the mixer and type in F6 and you'll see that it has the USB adapter there, but it's it's uh, listed as card number one instead of card number zero. It's listed as the second card, which is zero, instead of one. All right, so so it recognizes a card, and the thing is that it doesn't know how to use it. It didn't. It's uh, it's using the default one, which is the built-in one, the built-in sound card. Right, so let's make sure that this file in etc slash uh, mod probe. There's a file called Osla base. Make sure that, that you, if you don't have that file, that's fine. If you do have that file, you can just comment on everything. There's this line that I've seen people add or edit that um, I've seen people change it from negative two to zero but I, I just counted it out and it's uh, working fine so I make sure that that file is empty and, and then you want to create a file called a sound okay there's a file called a sound that you could create uh, it's not there, so you're gonna create a sound.conf, and what you gotta do is drop in these lines here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna edit that. So it should be a it should be a blank file, and you should add these lines to it. Okay, defaults.ctl.card space one, assuming you have uh, only two cards in there, and that's uh, the default, the built in card, and the USB dongle. So it'd be zero and one, so you just add it. So it'd be one, so it'd be defaults. defaults.ctl.card uh, one, 
defaults that PCM, that card one and timer that one and just save that and then exit and then uh, you don't even need to reboot if you type in Oslin, you notice that it changed because it switched over to the uh, the, the um, USB card USB card right and I'm just gonna hit F10 and exit uh, next time you reboot it will come up and in this case we didn't even have to reboot so we'll test out the song and So it plays music. That's it. That's assuming your um, card is already detected. When you plug it in, and it's detected. If you have the one that I have, that I just got from um, uh, the Pie Hut or um, Adafruit, you should have it. That one is listed as uh, General Plus. Uh, you have this one. This is also a common one. It's your C Audio. Sometimes you find C Audio, and that'll work the same way. I should note that if it's not even listed there with the uh, ls.usb, that command, ls.usb, if it's not even showing up, then it didn't detect it. But, but, um, but that one it detected right away. Alright, so I got it. I got actually got it at Amazon, but um, this one's some uh, Adafruit, and uh, it says you know you can see there's no uh, there's no name on it. it. Just says USB audio adapter. Works for Raspberry Pi, and it's uh, their their product is um, right there. 1475. So if you type in 1475 in their little search box there, there you just type in 1475. It'll bring you right to this guy here. Which, and the other one is uh, I actually bought it on Amazon, which is right here. The Pie Hut. Pretty cheap. It's not too many people know it, I guess. And it will work directly on your uh, Raspberry Pi. Alright, so thanks for watching. Have a good day.